hi all uh, as part of this video we will see what is bigquery data transfer service okay so let us see there is a requirement a use case where you have to transfer or remove data from saas applications to the bigquery or else some data warehouses like teradata or amazon redshift to the bigquery or else other cloud storage like amazon s3 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 to the bigquery right here there are different sources the target can be bigquery all the time what you will do usually right in such cases right we usually write a custom code to transfer data from all the services to bigquery right okay let us see is there any other options available right if somebody uh, doesn't want to write any piece of code but would like to transfer data from all this application to the bigquery right so the answer is yes the answer is bigquery data transfer service so this is coming as part of bigquery service and it is integrated with the bigquery so if you go to the bigquery console you can see this service and you can use this service to, to move data from all the sources to the bigquery and also you can schedule this transfer or data movement right on periodic basis there is a requirement to transfer data every one day or uh, every week or every month and also you can customize that transfer you have to transfer data in a particular time in a day you can do that that means you can schedule the transfer yeah as i already told there is no coding required data and you can access this service through using console or bigquery command line and we do have a client library right using bigquery data transfer okay so supported data sources you just just observe the diagram shown in the bottom of this slide right so there are saas applications like google play and google ads gcs packet other saas applications if you see there are some data warehouses teradata redshift and other cloud storage amazon s3 from all these services you have an option to transfer data automatically to the bigquery right let us see the demo so in our demo i would like to show the demo the use case is i would like to transfer data from google cloud storage packet to the bigquery okay i hope you understand uh, the service and we'll see the demo now okay yeah this is my bigquery window right let let us go to the left panel of the console there you can see data transfers okay click on this okay then you can you you can see this options available right so usually first time when you when you when you just click on the data transfers if your bigquery transfer api is not enabled it will ask you to enable you have to do that once you do that then your window will be appearing like this okay now i would like to create the transfer right yeah you can see so what is your source the target is always bigquery but you have to select the source just click on the drop down here you can see different options available amazon s3 campaign manager data set copy means you have to copy data from one project to other project right you can you can you can select this option right google ad manager google ads google cloud storage right google play youtube channel information or log information so in our in my use case or in our current demo i would like to demo 
transfer data from Google Cloud Storage to BigQuery. Right? Once you select that option, there are other options visible to fill up. Right? So display name GCS to PQ. Right? So here you can select the schedule options. Right? As I already told, daily, weekly, monthly, custom on demand. So daily means daily, weekly, anyway, you know, self-explanatory. If you go for custom, then it will ask you the particular time when it has to be, when it has to transfer the data. So in my course, in my case, I am selecting on demand. Okay. Start now. Then data set I'll have to give, right? So let me select the data set. Okay. So I'll select data flow demo in my project what is the destination table right so here the condition is right first of all you have to create that empty table in the bigquery then you just mention the table name over here if you don't have the table already created in your bigquery then just give some dummy table name it will accept when you run this transfer right this transfer job it will fail okay so to avoid that failure I will have to create the table okay we've already done that okay okay I will show that table DDL okay. this is this is the table DDL okay if you see this is the table so I will also show you the source data, right, which is placed in my GCS bucket. Okay, let us go to the GCS bucket. So, this is my bucket, and this is the data I would like to transfer. Okay, so what kind of data it is? So, this is the data if you would like to transfer from GCS bucket to my BigQuery table. I will, okay, it has some seven to eight columns. So, to match this schema, I've already created this table with all strings. Okay. Yeah. Now let us go to the transfer job setup. Okay. My table name is this. Okay. Now I will have to select my Google Cloud Storage URI right so let us copy my bucket and this is my file name right okay now you can see here here itself we have some validation if you specify wrong URI then it will it will alert you right so if, if if you see this green color tick mark right tick mark then it it's this the uri which you are you have specified is correct okay then we have two different options to to whether you you, you would like to append the data or replace right i would like to replace then i selected mirror okay file format okay we have different file format i selected csv so I would like I have a header row in my CSV file. I would like to skip that. So I'm I am asking it to skip header. Okay. Right. So here we do have a notification options whether you would like to receive a email notification if there is an error in the file. And also would like to push a message to pop up topic, then you can opt for this message. Message uh, this option. Right. Click save. taking time yeah it's done yeah now my transfer is created right so now because since I haven't uh, scheduled it on periodic basis I selected for custom line or on demand sorry then I'll have to run it explicitly right I have to trigger this so I'm just click clicking run one time transfer or else if you like to run it and 
specific date you can you can go for this option but you like to run it one time let me do it okay. i just did it you can see backfill schedule so there are any errors so those things will be appearing here okay go back right now it is running if you see here preview this table i don't see any data this is an empty table created right so once this job is done or run successfully then you can see the data right it's still running the transfer run is in progress summary right since it's a on demand current time is displayed here okay let me refresh now you can see the data so the job has run you can see that that particular file has 369 rows you can see all the data came into bigquery table right go back to the job see if it is if it is run successfully then you can see this green color tick mark there is an error it will become red and here right you can there is a section to show up those errors right in the summary field right so it will clearly show the error what is the error you have to fix the error and again run this job right this is how you can use bigquery data transfer service to move data from like saas applications or data warehouses other cloud storage services to bigquery okay with no code yeah i would like to do some more demos right for different use cases for bigquery transfer service in coming videos definitely i would like to do that and i will also upload those videos thank you thank you very much